Observers state that SpaceX has just launched the first Falcon Heavy of 2023. Merely two weeks into the new year, SpaceX has already put a rocket into orbit as the company aims for 2023 to be its busiest yet. Let's take a closer look. SpaceX is a private aerospace company founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk in 2002. It is headquartered in Hawthorne, California, and is focused on developing and manufacturing advanced rockets and spacecraft for a variety of missions, including crewed missions to the International Space Station and future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX was founded with the goal of reducing space transportation costs and enabling the colonization of Mars. The company has made significant progress towards these goals and has established itself as a leader in the commercial space industry. One of SpaceX's most notable achievements has been its successful development and operation of the Falcon 1, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy rockets, which have been used to launch a variety of payloads into orbit, including satellites, cargo to the ISS, and even astronauts. In addition to its rocket development and launch services, SpaceX is also working on the development of its Starship spacecraft, which is being designed as a fully reusable launch vehicle capable of carrying both crew and cargo to a variety of destinations in space. The Starship will be launched on top of the Super Heavy rocket, which is currently in development. Elon Musk is the founder and CEO of SpaceX, as well as the CEO of Tesla Inc., a company that designs and manufactures electric vehicles and renewable energy products. Musk is known for his ambitious vision and innovative approach to business and technology, and has made significant contributions to the fields of space exploration and sustainable energy. Before founding SpaceX, Musk co-founded PayPal, an online payment system, and has also been involved in several other ventures, including the Hyperloop, a high-speed transportation system that is being developed by another one of his companies, The Boring Company. Musk's vision for SpaceX and its role in the future of space travel has inspired many people around the world, and the company has gained a large and devoted following. Its successful launches and innovative approaches to space travel have made it a leader in the industry, and it has sparked a renewed interest in space exploration among the public. One of the main goals of SpaceX is to make space travel more affordable and accessible to a wider range of customers, including government agencies, commercial companies, and even private individuals. To achieve this, the company has focused on developing reusable rockets and spacecraft, which can be used multiple times and significantly reduce the cost of space launches. In addition to its focus on reusable technology, SpaceX is also working on developing advanced propulsion systems, such as its Raptor engines, which are designed to be more powerful and efficient than traditional rocket engines. These advances are expected to help reduce the cost of space travel even further and make it more practical for a wider range of missions. While SpaceX has made significant progress toward its goals and has achieved several notable milestones, the company still faces many challenges and uncertainties. The development and operation of rockets and spacecraft is an incredibly complex and risky endeavor, and there have been setbacks and failures along the way. Despite these challenges, SpaceX remains committed to its vision of advancing space exploration and enabling the colonization of other worlds. The company has a strong track record of overcoming obstacles and achieving success, and is well positioned to continue making significant contributions to the field in the future. Elon Musk has played a key role in SpaceX's success, providing the vision and leadership that has helped the company achieve its goals. His unconventional approach to business and his willingness to take risks have helped make SpaceX a leader in the space industry and have made him a well-known and respected figure in the tech world. The Falcon Heavy is a large cargo-lifting rocket developed by SpaceX. When it launched on its maiden voyage on February 6, 2018, the rocket was the most powerful booster in operation at that time. On that debut test flight, the Falcon Heavy met almost all of its major objectives, including flying company founder and CEO Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster, carrying a mannequin named Starman to space. Over the years, more flights have been planned for the rocket as the company begins to seek out more customers for Falcon Heavy. Eventually, Elon Musk plans to use the experience in developing the Falcon Heavy to make an even bigger rocket, named the Big Falcon Rocket, or BFR, for Mars exploration. 
SpaceX was founded in 2002 and backed by Musk, who previously co-created and sold the companies Zip2 and PayPal. After successfully developing and flying the Falcon 1 rocket, SpaceX received funding from NASA to develop a spacecraft, the Dragon capsule, that in 2012 became the first commercial spacecraft to bring cargo to the International Space Station. To get to space, the Dragon required a heavier lift rocket called the Falcon 9, which SpaceX developed and then first flew in 2010. Musk first announced a bigger rocket, the Falcon Heavy, in 2011. At the time, he said the rocket would carry 117,000 pounds of cargo to orbit, twice the capacity of the space shuttle. Musk also predicted the first Falcon Heavy flight would come in 2013. As is common in spaceflight, however, that date was pushed back several years during development. There were two catastrophic failures of the Falcon 9 rocket in 2015 and 2016. Flights were suspended both times while the cause of the failures was investigated, and that likely contributed to pushing back the timeline of Falcon Heavy. SpaceX completed a static fire test of the Falcon Heavy center core in May 2017. By September of that year, all three boosters planned for the first flight completed static testing. According to SpaceX, the Falcon Heavy is 230 feet tall and can lift nearly 141,000 pounds of payload to low Earth orbit, about twice the payload capacity of its closest competitor, United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy. The rocket has two stages. The first stage has three engine cores. The center core is flanked and supported by two boosters. Each core is equivalent to the first stage of a Falcon 9 rocket and houses nine engines. The boosters separate after liftoff and land upright back on Earth, possibly to be used again. Meanwhile, the heavier center core aims for a drone ship, carrying its payload in the second stage. The 27 engines on the first stage of Falcon Heavy, working together, are capable of more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, the same force as about 18 747 aircraft at full power. The Falcon Heavy rocket lifted off for the first time on February 6, 2018 from Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida, using Launch Complex 39A, the pad that used to host moonbound Apollo astronauts and space shuttle crews. An estimated 100,000 spectators crowded the area's beaches and roadways to watch the rocket launch. Millions more watched a live stream showing the launch and events afterward. During the launch, two boosters separated from Falcon Heavy and landed at SpaceX landing sites at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station near KSC. In the coming years, SpaceX plans to develop the Big Falcon rocket, a system that would dwarf the Falcon Heavy. According to Musk, BFR could be used to bring hundreds of passengers at a time to different destinations around the world and onto Mars. In September 2017, Musk delivered an updated version of his ongoing Mars colonization plans that would include the use of the BFR. Musk has said that the BFR will likely replace the Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9 rockets during the 2020s. Recently, SpaceX revealed major updates to the Falcon Heavy. The rocket has already made history by launching and landing as the first reusable rocket, but SpaceX is always looking for ways to improve and innovate. One major focus of the upgrade is increasing the rocket's payload capacity, allowing it to transport more cargo or humans into space at a time. Another area of improvement is in the rocket's propulsion system. SpaceX is experimenting with using advanced engines and fuels, such as methane and oxygen, to increase the rocket's power and efficiency. The upgraded rocket will also feature a sleek new design with a streamlined shape and advanced heat shielding to withstand the intense temperatures of re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. In addition to these technical improvements, SpaceX is also working on making the rocket more cost-effective to produce and operate. The company has a strong focus on sustainability and is exploring ways to reuse as many parts of the rocket as possible to reduce waste and lower costs. The upgraded rocket is expected to have a longer lifespan and be able to fly more missions before needing major maintenance or repairs. These improvements will not only benefit SpaceX, but also the wider space industry and humanity. With a more powerful and efficient rocket, SpaceX will be able to access new destinations in space, potentially opening the possibility of establishing a permanent human presence on other planets. One of the key benefits of the upgraded rocket is its increased payload capacity, which will allow it to transport more cargo or humans into space at a time. 
This will be particularly useful for missions to the International Space Station, where the ability to deliver more supplies or crew members in a single launch will greatly improve efficiency and reduce costs. The upgraded rocket will also have the capability to fly a wider range of missions, from satellite launches and cargo deliveries to human spaceflight and interplanetary travel. This versatility will make it a valuable asset for a variety of customers, including government agencies and private companies. In addition to its technical advancements, the upgraded rocket will also feature new safety features to ensure the safety of the crew and cargo on board. This includes upgraded systems for communication, navigation, and emergency response, as well as improved reliability and redundancy to reduce the risk of failure. January 15th marks the first flight of the Falcon Heavy rocket in 2023. The mission, called the USS F-67, carried a military communication satellite and five smaller payloads to orbit. Falcon Heavy first stage boosters are designed to be reusable, like those of the Falcon 9, and two of them came back to Earth successfully on Sunday. USSF-67's side boosters touched down safely at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, which is next door to KSC, eight minutes after launch. It was the second landing for each of them. Both participated in USSF-44, a Falcon Heavy mission for the Space Force that launched on November 1, 2022. The central booster on USS F-67 was a new vehicle, and it will not get a chance to fly again. It ditched into the Atlantic Ocean as planned not long after liftoff on Sunday, having used too much of its fuel to come back home again. The Falcon Heavy's upper stage, meanwhile, continued carrying its payloads to orbit. But we didn't get to see much of that journey. SpaceX ended the launch webcast just after the booster touchdown at the request of the Space Force. It's unclear when the payloads are scheduled to be deployed. The primary satellite on USS F-67 is continuous broadcast augmenting SATCOM-2, which is headed to geostationary orbit about 22,200 miles above Earth. Also going up on USS F-67 was the long-duration propulsive ESPA-3A, a payload adapter that can hold up to six small satellites. November's USS F-44 was the first Falcon Heavy mission in more than three years, a drought that was caused primarily by customer delays in getting their payloads ready for liftoff. However, SpaceX hopes this will change as the company aims for multiple Falcon Heavy launches this year. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about SpaceX being in big trouble with the FAA. Do you think Falcon Heavy will have more missions this year? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.